Alright, so what is your name? Srinija. Srinija, okay. So Srinija, this is the uh, technical interview for the Java positions. So that we want to hire people. So do you know Java? Yes. Okay, so like uh, how comfortable are you in Java language? I am more comfortable in Java. Sir. More comfortable means yeah. uh, if you give writing out of 10, how much do you want to give? Oh, now I am very good, okay. So can you start a little bit of self introduction? Yeah, of course. Uh, first of all, uh, thank you for giving me this uh, opportunity to introduce my I'm Vandhuri Srinja. I grew up in Karma, where I have finished my 10th plus 1 and plus 2. Presently, I am staying in Hyderabad to improve my technical skills. Um, basically, I am proactive, hardworking. I adapt to the situation wherever I go. I totally believe in planning and execution. Coming to my strength, I am very confident and I, I easily, I mean, quickly learn uh, things easily. Coming to my family, we are four members, uh, my mother, my father and my uh, sibling, that's all about me, thank you. Okay, so you can tell about your technical skills which you know? Yeah, uh, Code Java, SQL, HTML, CSS uh, and the JavaScript. Alright, so you are like a graduate you said, right? Yeah, so like um, uh, this is the job that we are hiring for Java developers. Yeah. So like, um, uh, why you want to come from a non-IT background to IT background? Yeah, yes, sir. I am a graduate actually, but I am more passionate about uh, to work uh, with in IT company. That's why I have chosen to do this. Okay. So, IT company, why only Java? Why not some other technology? Of course, Java is very evergreen uh, uh, language. Sir. It is very uh, upcoming and growing uh, in this uh, IT technology. Everyone uh, needed a uh, basic uh, Java. So I am more interested to learn Java. Okay, that's a good. So for any projects, uh, Java knowledge is required, right? Yes. That's why you are learning. Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, so let us discuss few technical questions on Java. Yeah. <coughs> okay. So, <coughs> can you tell me why do we need constructors in Java? Constructors to initialize the objects, so we we need the constructors. Okay, initialize the object. What yeah. is meant by initializing? Initializing is assigning uh, some uh, objects or you know, into uh, uh, assigning some objects. Values. Values, variables. Variable values. Yes. Okay. So assigning the variable values into the object. Objects, yes. Okay. So that is called as initializing. Yes. So if you want to initialize object, we have to we use have to use constructors. Constructor. What type of variables? Local variables will assign or class variables? Local variables. Class variables. Class variables, yes. right? Not local variables. Oh. Inside an object, so class variables will be stored, right? Yes. Not local yes. variables. Okay, good. So the point is, if you want to just assign the values for class variables, why we need constructors that we code, we can write in normal method also, yes or no? Yes, sir. but uh, because of using constructors, we will uh, I mean, instead of methods only, we will use constructors. Instead of methods, we write constructors. Hmm. Methods are different, constructors, constructors are different. Are different right? sir, but yeah. we use instead of that, we use constructors for okay. initializing. Yeah, the question is why. So why don't we use methods for initializing? Why do we have to use constructors? In method, I mean, I'm not. Alright, no problem. Okay, so can you tell the differences between a method and a constructor? Methods are used, I mean, constructors are used for initialization and methods are. So, from syntax point of view, is there any difference between a method and a constructor? Yes, sir, we use the constructor name as a mm, name, sir. Mm -hmm. In uh, methods, we use generalized uh, method names only. Mm -hmm. for, uh, for this, we use constructor names. Okay, so for constructor's name, what name we have to give? Con everything we need, but constructor name is uh, particularly we need. Constructor name? Constructor names. Okay, uh, yeah, that is one point. Other point? Any other difference? Anything related to return type? Uh, uh, yes, sir. Constructors have return type, but it does not. Uh, my method did, did not have a return type. Constructors will have return type? Sir, so, methods will have a return type, but constructors will not have a return type. 
take that time. So, can we use void keyword for constructor? No, sir, we don't use void keyword. Can we use return keyword? Yes, sir, we do because we have a random Which one? Constructor? Methods we have. Methods. Mm -hmm. Okay. How many types of constructors are there? Two types of constructors. Default constructor and parameterized constructor. So, what is the default constructor? Default constructor means we don't need to, I mean, uh, Without uh, parameters, uh, we will assign that so that's why it is called default uh, constructor. Okay. Coming to parameters, we will uh, parameters are uh, assigned in assigned, so it is called parameterized constructor. Okay. What is meant by parameters? Parameters means uh, variables. We will uh, we will include uh, values, no sorry, in parameters. I mean, uh, giving a value, uh, for example, val uh, one. Pad to like that we give in uh, methods also. Brackets. In brackets, in yeah. method brackets. All right. That are called parameters. Okay, fine. How many parameters we can put for a parameterized constructor? Parameterized constructor, we can keep uh, how many we want, sir. I mean, in one method, two, two, three, or we can keep. Okay, then. Uh, there, that, in that also, there are uh, so many types. I mean, uh, number of parameters, data type parameters, sequence uh, parameters also, sequence data types also. Uh, this. So, any number of parameters we can put by yes. What about data types? What kind of data types are allowed? Primitive data types are allowed. Primitive. So, non primitive not allowed? Allowed, sir, but in some conditions. Okay. Alright. So, you said sequence. What is the sequence? Sequence in means uh, in, if we give uh, in, in one method, if we give uh, something, I mean int or like that, in another one we have to give double. Method if, or a constructor? Constructors, mm -hmm. sorry, constructor and constructor we have to give. I mean, uh, sequence will be changed, sir. Int and double we will give means uh, in the next um, one we will give uh, double and int. Okay. It is a sequence, okay. no sir. Okay, okay. So, can you write a syntax for a parameterized constructor? Yes, sir. No, just write the syntax for a parameterized constructor. No need to write enter program, just write a parameter is constant. Okay, so let me see what you have written. Mm, okay. So can you tell what is the use of super keyword? Super keyword is used for to reference the I mean to refer the which class? Parent class? Parent class and child class to be contributed to the Okay. Right. So, can you write the syntax for uh, calling the constructor by using super keyword? So I just want to give feedback to you. So here at SP Global Solutions, generally what we do is we conduct mock interviews every week for all the students. So after conducting mock interviews, we give feedback also. So that students can improve in which area they have to improve. Okay. So uh, feedback, so we give on three criteria. So that is on the theory part, so how they are answering, then on coding part, so how they are writing the programs and also their communication skills. Okay. 
So your communication is good. So you are answering with confidence. So that is fine. Okay. So your theory, whatever the questions I am asking, you are able to tell correctly. But still, little bit small small mistakes are there. You still need to practice. Coming to coding part, so you still have to improve a lot in code. So small small sentences, you are writing wrong. Okay. So you still practice in this area. So you are a little bit too weak in this area. So you practice more, so that will help you to get the jobs. All right. Thank you so much.